7.45, October 24th. A cup of coffee. It's a nice day today. Even though the mist is low at the moment, it's gonna be a lovely day. And head back towards Crick. It'll be a fair distance for this cruise. So I'll be sporadically putting this camera on and off. But you can get an idea of the autumnal color, although it won't pop until the sun pops. So straight from the coffee to the ginger and apple. Hey doggy. Hello. somewhere oh missed the camera that's good because I don't want to get wet and I've ended up with like fingerprints on the lens yes 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 hello hello if I do decide to go towards Crick today I'll be going through Bosworth Tunnel again so that'll be fun i have to get as close to crick as possible at the latest by tomorrow it's all about logistics i remember taking the piss out of logistics companies it's all about timing and placement that boat's called flash gordon i don't know whether you can see it there sam jones as flash gordon <laughs> So this is the famous Foxton Locks. Over 4,000 boats pass through Foxton Locks each year, making it one of the busiest spots on our 2,000 mile network. Bridge number 60. It's the famous horse, if I remember. There's like a little the horse statue in there. It's a lovely area, Foxton. And I, I really did hope that I'd be able to find the dog that was loose. I walked down here and I drove on the roads just to try and find him to see whether I could get the dog back. My biggest gripe with electronic tags is the owners don't bother to write, still write a phone number on the tag. So there's no way I can read it because it's an electronic. You could see it was on the collar. All they had to do was just put a phone number on there as well so as I could physically ring them to tell them that I have their dog. But I was trying to befriend the dog. It wasn't a boat dog. It did not want to come onto the boat, whereas I can keep it on the boat then and I could have rang a number. But as it was, I would have uh, just looked after the dog. It was a young dog. It was certainly not been astray for more than a day or two. It took a while to get his confidence. And then another dog scared it off before I managed to get him on the boat, her on the boat. And I was really upset because I felt like I let the dog down. Here's the winding hole up here. So we are gonna turn here. I'm gonna head back down. my full Yui. I'll time lapse it. It's a little bit awkward with my height, as you can see, but I've got used to doing it now. <laughs> it's the bridges I don't, it's the tunnels I don't like.
Foxton. It's very quiet. I can see them down there. It's very quiet. Hello, Foxton. <laughs> Foxton calling. Not this, not today, but possibly want to do a cruise to Market Harbour in the winter. If I can get a good few days in the winter to come up from Crick, to go down Foxton, I'd love to get like the winter shots and stuff, but who knows? I'll make a decision how close I get to Bosworth Tunnel. Because it's probably, as I said, it'd probably be about 10 o'clock by the time I get there which is quite a busy time. But what I might do is moor up there and then head towards Bosworth Tunnel later tonight. Be a bit, bit of a cheek uh, to go through Bosworth Tunnel at about six o'clock when it's just getting twilight. Because I know that I can moor in a place uh, not too far from, from there, um, just, at, just, just in uh, North Kilworth. So might leave it to the last hour of daylight just to avoid any possibility of uh, there's still no possibility there's still no guarantee that I, I won't meet somebody in the middle it's going to happen at some point I've got to get used to it um, it's my number one fear I can do a lock by myself uh, I've done the Welford arm a couple of times now and I'm quite confident with that um, a lot more confident than I am going through a tunnel it's bizarre I love the tunnels as well. I love the excitement of being un underground. I just don't like the, the worrisome fr frustration and logistical nightmare that it is when, the, if you go, especially with tunnels, some of them tend to bend slightly. You sometimes can't see. My eyesight is really hard to judge. I, I, I think that's where I really do think I need glasses, but there's no other occasion while I'm driving or when I'm reading or when, when I'm looking at in the distance, there's no other occasions where my eyes play tricks on me. And in a tunnel, they play tricks on me. Well, the sun is trying to come out. Well, I say that, the cloud is gradually lifting, the mist of the morning. I already see the colours beginning to pop, which is lovely. It's now about nine o'clock, I think. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have had any other colour when I got it done. <laughs> I know the tunnel is probably 10, 15 minutes away, so I'm probably going to pull in up here by the Iron Bridge. Right by the Iron Bridge. I am on a corner, but I'm only going to be here for about five hours. Yeah. 